Hello, Luigi Tramontana here from Craft Animations. I'm going to show you the airplane extended. Now, this scene is something else. If you remember the uh, movie Get Smart from last summer, summer of 2008, uh, the Mel Brooks uh, re remake, they had a Cessna scene there in which they used the airplane extended to make those crazy Cessna scenes. There are no real airplanes there, and that's that uh, movie so uh, this is approximately the same setup they use now I'm in Maya you could just as well be in 3ds Max, Cinema 4D, XSI or any other system that we port to it works the same it looks the same everything is the same so it doesn't matter where you are but have a look at this here we have the skeleton for the uh, airplane extended right there and uh, just get those hidden there and as you also can see the the uh, different parts have been uh, fitted to this uh, specific airplane here so that they actually move those specific parts there and I will just hide that and have a look at this scene here isn't that strange we have a spline speed controller for that tutorial go into that it has been set to go uh, to fly on this spline here with 100 miles per hour no actually 150 miles per hour so this car will have a tough time there's also a this car has its autonomous mode on so it automatically follows this car because this is just a child or this carriage and guess what this plane does it follows this target mesh so that's the target mesh for the airplane extended and it tries to follow this one automatically but I can still uh, manipulate that automatic path with my input device and by having that said I want to jump into the the uh, sphere cam here and just get going have a look at this I mean this is so cool that um, that it's amazing okay we're accelerating up so the the airplane is actually stalling right now but here it comes all right okay i'm not doing anything with my input devices here everything is automatic right now now it would keep stalling there are a few things that are important to know here uh, if if it stalls just lower this value the forward maximum speed lower this value and right now i have a spitfire autonomous mode spitfire setting on this one but i have made the the uh, wind wind strength it's 20 here by default and right now it's only five and that that suffices i mean if you change it to that you still have turbulence but not so and look at this uh, i will run out of of uh, landing of, of runway so let's start from the beginning and have a look at this i just move around with my sphere cam here Increase the size of the sphere a little bit, like that, and let's have a look at this. Okay, we're speeding up, so we're not in a stall anymore. And look at this now, look at this. I grab my input device and I steer, uh, well, that's the sphere cam. I steer to the left, to the right. Look at this action, I mean, downwards. I fly closer to the car. And I'm steering the camera here at the same time, so so this is, I mean, I can get these fantastic shots while I'm actually filming here. And I'm doing all this, it's so easy that it's ridiculous, I mean, up, down, up, down. <laughs> okay, there we hit the road a little bit. But anyway, I mean, you can do this, and there, we came to the end. But I mean, this is, uh, I mean... If you if you just have a look at the the stuff you can do with this it's I mean all the stunts that you can do with this then uh, it's just totally amazing uh, and having that said I will just jump into rigging this airplane for you uh, right there okay so the first thing I do here is I create the bone system as with all vehicles airplane extended there and this airplane now seems to be enormous but it's not this is in meters this is maybe six seven meters that is uh, large it's just that 
this model and this is very very u uh, usual so I just click that one and uh, and then just scale it down one say like that and uh, the thing here is that this airplane has been has been modeled in inches a scene in inches where one inch is one meter so that's why this scene is that way and this is very common in 3d so if you have different size just scale them scale them so that they fit now the first thing I need to do here is uh, I need to put my pivot here where my airplane has its uh, center of pressure and that's usually around the middle of the wings somewhere the the large wings and uh, at first I scale it so it's approximately the same size and the center of gravity the cent the the center is also at the middle of the wings like this so that makes the airplane turn and look good. Uh, okay, the next step is that I want to align these different parts so that we can actually have rudder effects and stuff. So I will use a little help script that we have right here. So you go into useful scripts and find Maya here. In 3ds Max you have the align tool so there's no trouble there. So I'm just clicking that one because I put that script in the shelf. Just drag and drop it by selecting it. So I'm just taking these parts here and do a preliminary move to that particular part of the airplane like that and the rudder and I will not do this very thoroughly I will warn you that just uh, here because the thing is that you will do this thousand times better but I don't have the luxury time to do that in this tutorial because I only have 10 minutes so first I take and this is the, the pivot. The pivot is the, the key thing here. Move it around the pivot. Don't care so much about the, the orientation and size of these parts like that. And then the direction has to be correct so that we get lined up with the rotation per se like that. And then perhaps a little bit to the sides like that. Yep. Okay. And the next one we would do the same. So I will skip that one and then take this one and this one is a little tricky because as you see here the pivot is actually outside the the mesh here so it's the pivot you should align to these rotational axes of your your uh, rudders ailerons and and uh, elevators so like that and uh, rotate it a little bit perhaps that yep okay and maybe to the sides too now that's quite all right actually and the same goes for that one and then we have the the ailerons we don't have flaps so you can't actually these ones the inner ones are flaps so those are for landing start and landing and uh, we don't have that uh, opportunity with this version of the airplane we will most probably include that in upcoming versions but as of now there is not such a thing like that and again the pivot should be in the center of rotation so I think that's quite good yes okay so the next step, let's pretend I did the, the other side also. The next step here is simply to skin the character. But in this case, we have rigid objects that don't affect each other. So you could skin it, but right now, just make your uh, high poly parts, your character, make them children of the bone. So I just grab this one. And in, in the body case, it's important that you do it with this relocator because then you can do layered animation later on. So just do this you take this one and you you uh, make it a child of this body relocator node and I just hit P here in Maya to parent it and uh, the same goes for that one like that and this one like that and this one and let's pretend that I did it did the exact same on the other side then I choose a preset in that other case I chose autonomous mode Spitfire in this case I probably use the the fighter jet like that and finally I pick a preset for my joystick and that's it bang I have the Logitech dual action gamepad here thank you very much bye bye